What's happening, YouTube? This is your boy Nike Stein again. Coming back with uh, another opinion and a review. Um, these are supposed to be releasing around June 2016 this year. A lot of people are very anticipated about this release. But um, if you guys can see this, this is not the original box. It really came in as a replacement, but it's still, you know, an Air Jordan 5 retro box with the Fire Reds though. This, however, is the Black Silver Metallics. And um, this is the good pair before I uh, um, took the midsole off the old pair. This is the, the good pair that's still holding up. I mean, not good, it's cracking and everything, but this is the release for 2016 and everybody's hyped about bringing back with the Nike Air. Um, of course, I'm not going to be able to get those only because why should I get those and I can soul swap these and keep my older pair that's better quality. I have seen some of them with, I have seen the new ones, the remastered ones, bring it back like the old ones from the 1990. You know, instead of having the black insole and the silver Nike Air, it's got a red insole with a white Nike Air. Um, the other difference is the sock liner looks a little more like a shadow gray to me. It's like a light and black or like a shadow looking gray. And that's like the 1990 originals. And um, of course the tongue looks a little bit higher to me, just a little bit higher on the new ones that's coming out and it's gonna have of course this is real yellow but I'm gonna do my little solution make this icy again but when it does when I do make this icy I'll make a restoration video or just show you guys what the process looks like with the midsole swap and everything but the 2016 the bottom sole are going to have a blue a blue outsole uh, why a Jordan brand did that, I don't know. Um, really get disappointed when I keep seeing these, you know, crappy, you know, solutions they're using, this, this new stuff. Like, if you're gonna keep it original like the 1990s or at least the 2000s, and to me the 2000s I like better than the, than the 1990 originals. That's my personal opinion. And rarely do I like a retro over originals, but I like, you know, these better than the 1990s and the new ones that's gonna be coming out. Just the shape of it, you know, and just everything. But these right here, this is, you know, one of my third favorite shoes of all time, um, the fives. I'd rather see them do like at least a 23 on the side. What I think about the new 2016s, I mean, are they worth 220? Um, I don't know if they're gonna be really worth 220 in my opinion, even though that's what they're gonna cost. But, I mean, at the same time, you know, has Nike Air on the back. Most of the kids who never grew up with that get the chance to get the OG type of feel, you know, like I did. And 220, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I've seen the white cement fours. I've been seeing the maroon sixes. And I'm happy about them at the same time. I'm like, well, you know, the quality doesn't feel that much better remastered than when it wasn't remastered. And it gets to the point, like, you know, Jordan brand's really falling off. And, um, it's exactly why some of the shoes just sit. But uh, I am really happy that, you know, I have a pair of these and I don't have to go get the 2016s. And I really don't have to get them because I can go find the 2000 retro pairs. Just, you know, they crack. And I'm getting ready to, like I say, do a midsole swap. I already took it apart and everything. But these are one of my favorite J's of all time as well. Um, I'd rather see a fire red release or, you know, and I'm talking about the fire red release with the 23 on the side, not with the, um, just the regular all white 3M tongue. I'm talking about with the black tongue fire reds. I'd rather see those released with Nike Air and then bring back the 23 on the side, but Jordan Brand's not going to give us that. But I mean, happily, you know, they brought them back. I just hope that they still keep the Nike on the bottom of the outsole and 
not put Jordan like they did with threes and like to dip the prototype samples of these. So in my opinion on those, the new 2016 fives, they're gonna sell out uh, 220. I don't think they're really worth it. But at the same time, I mean, I mean, I really don't think none of these new Jordans are worth it, but at the same time, I mean, you gotta get what you can. And in the long run, they will be worth something. I mean, it's all history repeats itself. That's all it is. So I am happy to see them you know, bring Nike Air back. And I also like to see, you know, they had the jump man. But Jordan Brand is going to do this probably just for another couple more years. And soon when he release these again, I guarantee you, you know, at least he's going to wait one more release and they're going to have a jump man put on the back. So. You guys, stay tuned. This is your boy Nike Stein. Like I said, I do have another pickup. I will be talking to you guys probably at the end of this week. So you guys stay tuned to that. This is your boy Nike Stein saying peace.